We also want to address our students' uh, needs from a competency-based standpoint. We want our students to be able to really uh, push themselves in their own learning and to be able to test out of certain strands of learning so that our students can, because some of our students have shown that they can move even faster than, than we've uh, um, uh, allowed them to move. And so we have to create those structures in order for students to be able to do that. Only certain ones of you are gonna be working on this. If I pass you something else, that means I know you already know this because you mastered it in multi-gen. All right, you guys get to work. The rest of you didn't get one, come back here, let's go. Where are you at, KJ? Corday? Jazz? Yeah. Diana? Yep, you always getting the hard stuff. That's how I roll. Hey, y'all, you, you guys that I gave that to in the hallway, let's go. Y'all can go in the hallway. Mastery at Love It is defined in several ways. So first of all, like if we're talking about math, for example, we, we, we set the marker at 80% 80, 80 uh, of problems correct would define mastery, so eight out of 10. Uh, and then application of that also shows mastery. So just because you can, uh, just because you can figure out uh, a problem that says area and perimeter, you can find the area and perimeter of a square, uh, doesn't necessarily mean you can apply that in real life. So then we have a, a mastery concept, and on top of that, we have an application concept which shows like, okay, not only do I know how to do this computation-wise, but I also know how to do this application-wise. Um, as far as other aspects in reading and other, other content, there are different ways to show mastery. I think for us at Love It, conventional paper and pencil doesn't always work, uh, especially with today's children. So we have different platforms we use. They can, they can create a presentation. They can fill out documents, graphic organizers online. On, through Myon or other personalized programs. They can sit in small groups and have discussion. Um, so those are a couple ways they can do projects-based learning on that. Um, so there's different formats for kids to demonstrate mastery, but we tend to say 